so back when I did my original video on importing models from Blender into 3JS, 3JS was at version 79. They are now at version 100 and they've changed a few things about how you import models into 3JS. So I just want to walk you through that workflow. They actually have some documentation that talks about loading models into 3JS and the different formats and approaches that they can that you can use. And we're actually going to use the GLTF Blender exporter. So if you click on this link in the documentation, it'll take you to a repository where you can actually download the GLTF plugin for Blender and then install that into Blender. They have instructions on how to install it in the readme file of the repository, but you essentially just take the plugin directory out of the repository and you upload that into your add-ons directory inside of your Blender installation. Once you have the plugin inside your add-ons directory, you need to enable it by going up to File, User Preferences, and then clicking the Add-ons tab. Then you can just search for GLTF and it should show up if you've installed it correctly in the directory. Then you just check on the box which will enable it and you're good to go. So now we can just make whatever changes we want to our scene go up to File, Export, and choose GLTF. And this will save out the file that we need in order to load it into 3JS. So we're actually gonna start from the old models tutorial that I created, and we're going to update three, the 3JS version to version 100, which is the latest version as of today when I'm creating this. And then we simply bring in a file that they have within that and then we simply bring in the GLTF loader file, which you can find in the examples JavaScript loaders directory inside the 3JS repository. And then we simply bring in the file that we exported from Blender, which is our model. So now we can hop over to the HTML file that runs our code. And we need to make sure that we're loading in the GLTF loader that we recently added. Then we need to replace our JSON loader with the GLTF loader. And we can just get the handle load method and it takes one parameter which is GLTF. And this is an object with a number of properties and one of those is our scene and we're just going to reference the children in our scene and get that single mesh that we exported from it, so the first child. Then we can add that child to our scene and position it. And we're not using the mixer anymore, so we can get rid of that. And then make sure that we're loading in the correct file, which we titled untitled. And then you can see our monkey head. Now the lighting is a little off here because we're not using, we didn't set the materials in Blender so we can actually access the material on our mesh here and just apply a mesh Lambert material. And now you'll see all the lighting's affecting it the way that you would expect. So that's it for my update on exporting models from Blender into 3GS. Hopefully this clarifies the process for you. Um, feel free to post any questions you have in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.